Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 40 second tutorial in this course. And with this tutorial, we're going to talk about the HTML special chars function in PHP. So, you know, in a way we are taking a slight detour from uh, our discussion on passing values from scripts to scripts. You know, we're going to check out one very important and special function and it's going to be a very short tutorial. So, you know, uh, don't worry. And it's also actually going to be a very useful function for you to use later on. Uh, so, you know, let's say you want to display something you know, with, within the uh, less than symbol and the greater than symbol, you know, using HTML. So at the moment, I don't have any PHP in this file, although the extension of the file is .php and we're gonna, you know, open it using our web server. But, you know, let's say you want to display something within the less than the greater than symbol. And this is, you know, the syntax for HTML tags. So, you know, you can see that I have uh, the HTML tag, the head tag, title, body, and all of these use the same syntax. So you know, when you, you, when you try to do something like this, what uh, the browser tries to figure out is, okay, is this a valid HTML tag or not? And, uh, you know, click here is definitely not an HTML tag. So that's why it's not going to do anything with this text. You know, what we're trying to do is something very simple. I just have an anchor tag on line number six, and then I just want to, you know, show this text on screen, click here. And, uh, I want, uh, you know, this to be an active link so that when a person clicks on it, you know, the person is redirected to google.com. That's all I'm trying to do. But if I would uh, open this file in the browser, I actually have opened it. So, you know, you can see that I don't see the text click here. And that's because uh, the browser just ignored this text because it tried to convert it to an HTML tag and, uh, you know, look for what it had to do, you know, for a corresponding tag, but then it couldn't find anything. So it decided to just skip it. So, you know, we see nothing. Now, if you want to display something that is uh, sensitive to HTML, uh, then you can use PHP for that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just cut this value and I'm going to start a set of PHP tags here. So I'll type in PHP and then over here again, I'm going to end my PHP tag. And in between these, I'm going to create a string value and I'm going to call it str and to it, I'll assign the text click here, right? And uh, then on the next line, I'm going to use an echo statement and uh, I'll type in the function name HTML special chars, right? That's the name of the function. And then within parentheses, I'm going to pass in, you know, this string variable, the one that I've just created. So the name of that is dollar uh, str and I'm going to put a semicolon to terminate the statement. And now when I refresh it in the browser, I see the text click here, right? So what PHP has done is it has uh, changed this text to a form that's not going to confuse the browser and uh, the browser is going to render it not as an HTML tag. So it's not going to treat this as an HTML tag anymore. It's uh, going to, you know, just treat it as a simple text value. Right. So that's what the HTML special charge function does. And uh, when I click on it, obviously I'm going to be redirected to google.com. So, you know, that wasn't the catch in the uh, script. The catch was if you want to do something, you know, that might confuse your web browser, you know, uh, on the HTML end, then you have to use the HTML special charge function. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to check out another such function, HTML special entities. And that's again, very important. And I actually wanted to discuss both in this uh, tutorial, but then I just, you know, love it when my tutorials are short. So, you know, I'm going to discuss that in the next video. And I hope you guys had uh, fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.